in the meantime, what I had wanted to do tonight was over here on my level 39 free-to-play account is I can actually build my ISS jellyfish tonight. I finally got my 120 blueprints, and there it is, cooking. 30 days right there. Since I don't know when we're going to get, you know, a jellyfish brawl or something like that, I want to make sure I got this thing done. Now, this ship has lost a lot of its value through power creep and specialty ships and all kinds of other mechanics and things. So it is no longer a ship that you, even back before, it was not a ship that you tiered up very high. This was maybe something you took to like tier four with like the tier five warp drive or something like that. It gets you like warp like a hundred, you know, kind of gets you out into deep space a little bit to those, you know, that entry level ring of systems and out to the 43s where some of the better hostiles and better armada targets were. Still a cool looking ship. But it's not really a ship that we upgrade a lot anymore. So this is my, my first jellyfish on this level 39 account. So woohoo! Now let's see what we can do in terms of upgrading said ship. We got some four star commons for tier one. We like that. It now there is a tremendous upside to this ship as you get later in the game if you have purchased the new primes. Just Q, thank you for the bits. Uh, you need them. I think it's it's tier six. It becomes it becomes kind of like revenue neutral, and then if you get them to like tier seven, tier eight, they get to the point where you level them up and you scrap them, and you actually gain more resources than you spent. But that is a significant dollar investment to get those primes to that level, and then you still have to source all the jellyfish blueprints. You know, some people have accumulated them. They're still pulling their boxes. Maybe they're still pulling them from their territories. You might have the ability to, to make, you know, three or four of them. Um, by the time you get to that point. Or you can make it an active thing where you're, you're really, you know, constantly doing the territory pulls and that kind of stuff. So this is kind of the point where I've seen a lot of people just say, okay, good, I'm done. I upgraded it, used all the common stuff. Now that it actually requires like uncommons and whatnot, I'm not doing it anymore. Maybe you could do the warp drive for the extra warp range just to get yourself a little further. It only takes uncommon ship parts, which isn't too bad. But... In terms of spending the gas and the ore to do it, this is usually where a lot of people just kind of back off and stop. Right here. That's as far as you get it now. And then you level it up to 10, so you get an officer slot or two below deck. You know what? Let's go. Let's swap out that. Let's actually move this over here. We'll just go level it real fast. Actually, isn't there a ship XP event right now? Maybe I'll just do that. Oh, you know what? I probably don't have any ship XP. <laughs> I probably used it all in the domination event. Yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, obviously, if, if you're looking for a way to spend materials in the 30s, being able to spend some four-star materials can help a little bit with some of those SMSs or auction events. Yeah, there is one of these guys. What do we got? Mm. Yeah, we're not going to even come close to winning that, so never mind. I don't want to waste the Latinum for 10th place.
Doby, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, we're just going to take this to exchange space, and we're just going to go kill some Eclipse Hostiles. Get some ship XP, get that thing leveled up to level 10 real fast. While I repair this ship real fast, and then run it back out to Mantis space. I saw another question earlier. Hang on, let me go back. Doby asked earlier, as an Ops 50 player, should you wait for G6 before pushing further into the 50s or go sooner? That is entirely up to you. We don't know when G6 is coming. We have theories about it, that it's coming soon, and all of the signs are there that they've... The things that they've done over the last six months really clearly indicate that, yes, there should be a next level of progression coming soon. We don't know what that'll mean for five-star economies and things. Previously, it's been, you know, they released G5, G4 got better. They released G4, G3 got a little better. Like, you know... Will they make G5 cheaper if they release G6? Maybe. Maybe even then they don't do it right away. Maybe they wait six more months and then backfill it. So how long do you want to wait? How patient a person are you? You can sit at 50 for a while and get yourself a nice shiny Tribune or an Enterprise A or something. Or just keep grinding your Pylum or Coronar or whatever you got and, and working that up. But that's, you know, you could be waiting six weeks. You could be waiting six months. You're almost out of four-star researches to work on, so not sure you could wait another six months since you'd be giving up on all the material spend events. Well, I mean, that'd be a thing, too. would be, you know, you could time it for an event and upgrade. I'm guessing you have all the building upgrades done and you're just sitting there waiting on whether or not you should push the button. Um, you know, I did a video on it when I moved from 50 to 51. If my memory is correct, 50 to 51 is all common materials for, like, everything. Um, so you move from 50 to 51. You're at 51 now, and then it's just a whole bunch of G5 commons and a whole lot, like, trillions of tritanium. And then you kind of just kick right through that level if you can. If you've got the latinum, you've got the speed-ups, pop some exocomps, you know, for building upgrades and whatnot. Uh, and then get to 52, so at least you start getting uncommons out of your refinery. Somebody's mining five-star ore with a Voyager. Kill it! <laughs> kill it, Carissa, kill it! Yeah, I've seen people use fichas because of the warp range and stuff. And maybe Voyager, I don't know. I didn't even check to see what the mining requirements would be compared to, you know, a Fisha versus a Voyager. Voyager mines faster than an amalgam. You know what? Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. So let's just say if we were looking at this G5 system, where is it? Here we go. We can see into this one. So my amalgam would mine 9,900. My fecia would mine at 7,500.
and a tier two Voyager would mine at 3,800. Now, obviously, as you improve the ship and things like that, that number can change. That's a Meridian? You're right, it was the Meridian. Let's look at the Amalgam. 10,700. So the Amalgam's actually the best of the, of the four. Amalgam, Meridian, Fecia, Voyager. Now, obviously, once you start leveling the ship up more, and get more of the research and stuff done, you might see some big differences in, in those things. But Voyager takes a while to get there. Now, I don't know what the ROE is like for you guys on your servers, but for the most part, at least on the servers I've seen so far, Voyager's only protected if, while mining if it's in one of the token systems up here. So if it's not in one of these token systems and it's on a mining node, it's not a miner and kill it. <laughs> you can kill it. I don't know again. Check with your own server's ROE. Maybe they're not as specific as that. I wouldn't see why not, though. This is still broken, by the way. Some people talking about this in my Alliance chat earlier. You know, you'll still gain experience, but the level number doesn't change until you go back to base. But if you want to see what level your ship currently is while you're out of base, you can just check a battle log, and it'll show you here. So I'm up to Tier 4, and I'm partway through Level 4. So we're making some progress already. The slider still works. This part, the numbers still count and change, but when it gets to the end of the level, and it, you level up, this one, this doesn't change for some reason. I don't know why it's broken here and it works in the battle log. It's been that way for months. I'm sure it's one of those items that isn't even really even on the radar to be fixed, or it is, but it's just so low priority that. Because there's such an easy workaround for it of just go check your battle log. 